Unlike most animals we are familiar with, where sex is written into the genetic code of the organism, the marine annelid Benellia viridis, or the green spoonworm, takes the time to scope out its surroundings before settling on a sex for itself. A sexless spoonworm larva will wander the seaways for up to three weeks, and if it encounters no other spoonworms, it will settle into its own patch of real estate and mature into a female over a period of several years. Once she has reached maturity, this female will start producing a green pigment called benellin, from which she gets her name. For most organisms, this substance is highly toxic, lethal even, but for benellia, it is a tried and true aphrodisiac. When a passing benellia larva comes in contact with benellin from the female's proboscis, it resolves its identity crisis immediately and converts, clearly smitten, to the male sex. If this change is so spontaneous, what could the process of becoming a male spoonworm possibly entail? Not much in the way of growth. In fact, almost nothing in the way of growth. Male spoonworms are 200,000 times smaller than their female mates. The equivalent of this would be a human husband about the size of a breath mint. After this miraculous metamorphosis, the male Benelia willingly submits himself to be sucked into the proboscis of the female. After his journey, he makes his home in an area of the female's reproductive tract called the Andrisium, literally the small man room, where he permanently resides, providing sperm to fertilize the eggs of the female while receiving nutrients and shelter from her in return. In a way, the story of the green spoonworm is the quintessential romance. It begins with the classic love at first sight scenario, with the textbook happily ever after ending. A hackneyed plot, maybe, but even the deep sea likes a love story every once in a while. My name is Elise Austin, and this is CreatureCast.